Uh, hello, uh, Catalia. So I'm, I will just answer your questions here um, about, uh, you know, the, the fact that you want to um, just play a few keyframes uh, on your arm or anything else um, and just have the animation uh, under it. Um, while having your layer not in additive and in override, plus the, the the how to duplicate keyframes. So, first of all, just uh, when uh, if if you want to follow the same steps, uh, you can just um, open Akitsu and then open Elise uh, regular character. Because here we have a good example on how you can uh, add some details. Um, while keeping what's uh, going under um, the layer. So here, if you take a look at the layer piano thing, you will notice that you have a bunch of keyframes here and there. Okay, and apart from that, the character just has a little movement in his fingers. In her fingers, sorry. So, the layer here is an override layer just because I have the set as additive layer button. Um, so it means basically that if I don't have these little handles here, um, I would s I would see um, a blocked uh, position like you have. And to do so, to add to add this uh, little thing, all you need to do is right click on it. And um, so I will just remove the fade in. So right click on your key and create fade in. And it will basically fade out, uh, f fade in, sorry, the, the keyframe from this point until the full opacity here. This doesn't work on loop keys. Um, so you will need to really animate all your. Um, your your frame or your layer, so it's really for this case. Um, and you can, of course, if you want, add a fade out, and you can do this for every keyframe. So, for example, here I have one movement; it stops and then it restarts. So I can add a fade in here again. You can overlap your fade in, fade out if you want to have some um, some slightly transition from one key to another. Um, okay, and then if you want to duplicate some keyframes, or let's say I want to uh, clone uh, these ones, you select these frames, okay, I will uh, then hold control key, click on my bunch of keyframes, and you see there I have a little plus appearing uh, between my keyframes, so it's just to tell me that if I uh, release my click from here then I will um, clone my uh, frames from this point okay in in the case uh, you want to do this um, maybe with the loop yeah okay so you will notice that um, the loop is starting uh, 60 frames after the fourth key, so if I duplicate my keyframes here, okay, the fifth key is not at uh, 60 key from the fourth key, so I will need just to adjust this once, like so. And now, when I will copy uh, my keyframes here to um, to the next, okay, it's it's fine. What um, why it's happening is just because. Um, just because the first frame doesn't have any, um, uh, how to say that, uh, any timing uh, attached to it. So basically it starts at zero, but Akitsu doesn't know how longer, uh, how long this frame is. The two is okay because we know um, from which timing it is uh, separated from the first key, but Okay, so you just have to know that, and and it's it should be fine if you want to actually extend your your base animation. 
Okay, so that's it. I hope uh, it answered uh, all your questions, and if you have more, feel free to ask. See you.